Well, Super League is back. Round eight is just hours away. And the big one, you chose it. We asked, what do you think was going to be the game of the week for round eight? And you chose the Catalan Dragons taking on the Robins, Hull KR. And we could not disagree with you. This one should be a belting game in Perpignan, half past five British time this coming Saturday live on Sky Sports. Let's see where these two teams are, of course. And the Dragons lead after seven rounds with six Brilliant wins, and they come into this game in fine, fine form. As for the Robins, well, they've only had two defeats this season. They sit very well in four. But this is quite interesting straight away. Look at the points difference. 86 the Dragons, 99 the Robins. The Robins having a better defence, only slightly, and a better attack. The Catalan Dragons are averaging 24 points a game, losing 12 points a game. To compare that to Hull, who are getting 26 points a game. 11 points against for the Robins. So there you go. Uh, advantage Robins there in terms of the potency of the attack and the strength of the defence. Now, of course, uh, it, last year in the series, it was three, it was 2-1 in the favour of the Catalan Dragons. Look at that, first against four. That's what the bookies are saying down there at the bottom. They come into this game, Catalan, though, on a four-game winning streak in Super League. Lost out, of course, in the Challenge Cup uh, quarter-final weekend. Just gone, losing out in quite convincing fashion to the Huddersfield Giants. That will have stung them. As for KR, well, they're on a four-game winning streak as well. If you count the Challenge Cup, a brilliant win from them against the Lee Leopards. The Dragons, that four-game winning streak, really impressive, beating Hull FC at home 26-12. Then they beat Castleford 40 points to 14. A brilliant win at Halliwell Jones, 32 points to 24. They started that game, if you remember, in white-hot form. And then perhaps the most impressive win of all of that four-game winning streak, the 14-8 win over St. Helens. As for KR, their three wins in Super League, the last three have come from Huddersfield Giants, 24 points to 12 at the Giants. They beat FC once again by 34 points to 10. And London Broncos in round number seven, 50 points to 10. But who can forget that last game between these two in Perpignan? No doubt about it. Steve McNamara will be wanting to repeat. Let's relive all of that action. that one for the Catalan Dragons in Perpignan last year. Of course, the Hull KR did get their own back in the latter stages of the season. If you remember that 26 points to 18 win at Craven Park. The squads are in and we've just seen a few uh, key players there striking. One of them, Tom Johnston, back in the Catalan Dragon squad for this one. We would expect him to play. Great to see Tom back after that really bad head knock that he took a few rounds ago. Uh, really good to see him back 
for the Dragons. Also in their squad, Bailey Simmons. Will he play? Will he not? We don't think he will, but we could be wrong. Who knows? As for the Robins, well, Gildart back after his HIA. Again, do we expect him to play? We don't here at Super League Raw. But again, we could be wrong. One of the big surprises for the Robin squad was the announcement that George King would be returning for this one and we would expect him to play. Why else would he be on the plane? And of course, Tyro May there at number 27 going up against his former team. What a shame that Jordan Abdul will not be featuring in this one. That would have been a really interesting sideline, wouldn't it? Anyway, these are the predicted lineups that we believe will start. Arta Moore at fullback, Davison Johnston on the wing, Romano and Ikevalu in the centre. Nikarima uh, partnering Theo Farge. We do expect Nikarima at some point to really light up the league. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see that partnership develop in the absence of Abdul over the coming weeks and months. Up front for them, the ever impressive Mike McMeekin and Julien Busquet. Uh, Mike or Mickey to his friends, Mac O'Loram. He's back, isn't he, big Mickey? Uh, he'll be, uh, I'm sure, getting in the faces of the Robins throughout this game. His defensive qualities have never diminished, have they? Tarek Sims, what a brilliant start to his Super League career he's had with the Catalan Dragons. Real potency there coming out of second row. Paul Seguer, we expect to remain in the side, but that could be a change. Maybe Bailey Simon will be in there. We don't know. One thing's for certain, the captain, Ben Garcia, he'll be at 13. On the bench, Alric De Costa, Romain Neveret, Chris Satay and Jordan Desirea. He's been a big loss, we feel, for the Dragons. It'll be good to see the big man back in the lineup. Now we go to Hulk AR, nine levels at fullback. On the wings, Joe Burgess and Ryan Hall. In the centre, we expect Opechik to remain alongside Petr Hiku. We think Gildart will be given another week. There he is, Tyro May, going back against his former team. He'll be looking for a big night, won't he, against uh, the Dragons in this one. And Mikey Lewis, as always, will be at scrum half. There he is, George King, back in the lineup. Yes, he should start alongside Jai Whitbread with Jez Litton, we believe, at Hooker. And then Kalepi Tangano in second row, very much like uh, Tarek Sims. It's such a shame they're on opposite sides because I think that would have been a real tasty uh, mashup had those two be going head to head. Bachelor will, of course, partner Tanginoa and Elliot Minchella at 13. On the bench for them, Matty Parcel. Dean Hadley, who is deputised really well in the front row uh, with the problems that uh, KR have had in those prop forward positions. Luckley and Staunton, we would expect also to be in the lineup. No doubt about it, both of these two clubs will be going uh, for some real serious size up front to give them every possible chance. Right, let's take a look then at where the strike is going to come from. Let's take a look at the backs first and the metres and the goal forward that we're expecting. And as you can see there, advantage Hull KR. 616 metres these boys average versus 537 for the Catalan Dragons. Great uh, stats though in there. I mean, Ryan Hall 148 and Tom Davis 158. That's going to be a really good battle, isn't it? As will be the other side. But in terms of the centre positions, uh, yes, Petr Hiku 133 metres. He has been electric, hasn't he? And look at the difference in metre gains in terms of the fullbacks. Artemog only 63 on average per game this season, taking on a Nile Evels 1 2 1. That's very interesting. Indeed. How does that then go into the breaks? Well, again, advantage to the Robins, 23 to 16. I mean, that's quite a sizable difference, isn't it? Uh, and again, look at where it's coming from. Look at the right edges of both sides. Uh, Burgess, seven, four for Hiku, seven for now levels out of backfield. You compare that to the right edge of the Dragons, four for Davis, three for Ikevalu, and three for Arta Moore. Very much, again, the potency on the right-hand side here, albeit Tom Johnston, six on his own. This season, he has been absolutely superb. Does that go into tries? Well, absolutely. 17 tries to 11, the Robins over the Dragons in terms of their backs this season. And again, look at the right edges. Nine between Burgess and Hiku. Three for Evels at the back. Same as Morg, that, of course, for the Dragons. And again, the potency very much on the left-hand side of Cavallo and Davis with five apiece between them. Uh, but again, the strike seems to be on both sides there, doesn't it? For the Robins, they both both sides seem to have good strike on both, whereas it's very much more on the right hand side predominantly for the Dragons. None yet for Arta Romano. That's uh, quite an interesting start, isn't it? We like Romano here at Super League Raw, but yeah, very very surprising indeed that he hasn't managed to get himself a four pointer thus far 
this season right uh why is this the case well let's take a look then at the the, the front row i think that that's what we need to go and do don't we let's take a look at the front row starting with the meters gained and you just can't split these two front rows 379 plays 375 very very even indeed uh between the front rows it's going to be a really good quality tussle between these ones this year for me. I really do think it's going to be very interesting indeed to see how these two go. What about the tackle bus then? Well, 51 to 50 again, you can't split these two sides. I mean, Jai Whitbread, 16, Mike McMeekin, 15, real solid there. Look in the second row, Sims, 18, 15 for Kalepi Tanganoa. Pretty even right across the piece, it has to be said. And what about the tries, the middle unit tries? Well, again, advantage to KR, six to five. Look at that from Kalepi Tanganoa, three. I mean, all of their, the tries coming from the second row in terms of the middle unit, whereas actually both McMeekin, Busgates, are pretty more even split, isn't it, across the, across the part there for the Catalan Dragons. So very, very interesting indeed to see how this one is going to pan out over the course of the 80 minutes. One man who is really looking forward to going back to Perpignan is Tyrone May. He's been talking about his old buddy, Mickey McAlorum. And Willie Peters has been considering the atmosphere that's going to be generated by the French on the night. Let's go and listen to both Tyrone and Willie Peters. It doesn't look like he's ever slowing down. Um, he's got crazy mental capabilities and I think you know it's up to him whether he wants to or not it's not like he's his footy's going backwards it's just whether he would be bothered to you know do do that again for 27 games or 30 games a year sprinting out of the line and trying to fold the big spikes of the team uh, I did message him I said he's up um, but uh, whether he plays or not uh, I think he's shown that for the last 16 you know 17 years playing a hooker doing what he does it's pretty mental to be fair I would have retired a long time ago if I was him but uh, he seems to love that sort of stuff, and if he does play on the weekend, hopefully it's not toward to me. And yeah, I mean, I, I was speaking. You can't let um, the outside, you know, in terms of the crowd and uh, you know affect anything. What you what 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 we want to achieve, um, and like you say, you need to be connected more than ever uh, over there in, in, in environments like that. So that's what I'm I'm actually looking forward to seeing that, um, seeing how connected, and that'll give us a really good idea of of our growth and, and where we're at. Because for me, like you said, if, if we show that togetherness and connection, and um, then that'll put us in a really strong position. If we want to play as individuals or anyone gets overawed or anything like that, then that's when disconnection can happen. So um, looking forward to, just to seeing the growth in the team um, compared to where we were this time last year. It's, 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 it's a good opportunity. There's no doubt about it. One of the best atmospheres in Super League is in Perpignan. It's going to be a brilliant, brilliant game. There's two really good, easy on the eye teams. I think at the moment... It's arguable, even though the Catalan Dragons are top of Super League, KR are playing some really wonderful rugby league, aren't they? And you really can't take anything away from them, can you? Let's take a look then at some key battles in this game, starting with uh, the number sixes. Tyrone May returning to Perpignan, going up against Jaden Nicarima. We really do think he's going to be outstanding in the long term for the Dragons, Nicarima. But you can see there already, despite playing three games less than Tyrone, he has got himself two tries more than Tyrone May. The assist, though, that goes the way of Tyrone May, 4-1. to one. Attacking kicks, 28-37. There's no doubt Tyrone May is a far more potent kicker than Nicarima. We haven't really seen that part of Nicarima's game, have we, thus far this season. 240 metres, plays 196. So when you actually do the maths, Nicarima does run for more metres. What about tackle bus? Well, again, despite that three-game difference between these two teams, you know, he comes out pretty well, does uh, Jordan Nicarima. He's had 11 Tackle bus already this season to Tyrone Mains 15 and two clean breaks to none. So don't worry about that. Jordan Nicarima has got some real good qualities. It's not an exact lineup uh, matchup this one for me. They've both got their own skill sets. Nicarima, more runner. Tyrone May more an architect of breaking uh, teams down and doing some real good creativity off, off the boot. But it's going to be very interesting to see how the old uh, the old Catalan player goes up against the new Catalan player. We now move forward to the position of number seven, Theo Farge and Mikey Lewis. Both, well, let's be fair, Lewis has been outstanding in 2024 thus far and probably is a key contender for young player of the year come the end of the season if he carries on playing the way that he is. Theo Farge, it took him a while, I think, to get going in a Catalan shirt, but he, do you know what? He's getting stronger game by game. You can see there, uh, seven appearances to six, two tries to three, assists always going the way there, and Mikey Lewis, 
big difference that that's an area that Farge for me needs to contribute more for the Catalan Dragons attacking kicks again the kick pressure all the quality of the kicks go in the way of the Robbins and that's really interesting we just saw a moment ago Tyrone May and now Michael is no Jordan Abdul is that going to be a I think that's going to be actually is isn't it it's going to be a real key moment in this game the kicking elements of it there's no doubt that KR we've already seen the bat line is more potent so too uh, you know nothing between the, the front rowers but in the kicking areas that, that kick pressure territory I think KR hold a real nugget there as well it's going to be very interesting indeed to see how that one plays out let's move up to that middle unit to the enforcers, Mike McMeekin and Jai Whitbread. These two are on uh, having a brilliant season thus far in Super League. Uh, as you can see, McMeekin getting that all important try against St. Ellis. Well, look at the bus, nothing between them. Tackles, both of them do great work on both sides of the ball. Both of them like to carry the ball very similar, nothing between the meters. I think whoever comes out on top in this particular battle again could really uh, make the big difference come the end of the game in terms of who gets the W. But for me, well, if you're not salivating about this, I don't know what you will salivate over because let's be fair, we're going to see two of the best loose forwards on the same field this Saturday at half past five when Ben Garcia goes up against Elliot Minchella. These two for me, absolute box office. They are right up there with the best number 13s in the division. And yet again, you can see how close it is between these two. They both like to have the hands on the ball. They both like to get involved and, you know, be that little bit between the, the half-backs, you know, in terms of attacking phases. Both of these two players, absolutely on top of the game. It's going to be brilliant. And one of these two actually could walk away with the man of the match. That's how good they are. When it's a real tight game, when they need uh, somebody to turn to these teams, they always turn to the captains. They always turn to these two and they never, ever disappoint. Two wonderful rugby league players. I, for one, cannot wait to see Minchella go up against Ben Garcia. It should be absolutely brilliant. We've done a lot of analysis there in terms of where the strike's going to come from, etc. But as always, the Super League uh, Raw panel, myself, Steph and Greg, we had a long chat on Super League Raw Weekly. You might not have caught that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a quick look at what we have to say about the game of the week on Tuesday. But before we do, we couldn't do this without our sponsor. So let's give them a little bit of a wrap. Let me add a little bit of spice. Dragons top, Hulk AR fourth again. The bookies have got this tight two to five, two to one. Um, really, really tight. They're both in great form. Uh, of course, the Hulk AR doesn't take into account the Challenge Cup. So with the Challenge Cup thrown in, they're on a four-game winning streak. Catalan are on a four-game winning streak in Super League. Of course, they lost at the Challenge Cup. Jaden Nicarima, first game back after injury. I think he'll be better in this one against KR. And for me, you know, yes, Mikey Lewis is in great form. Yes, he is. So is Hickey, but Nile Levels has been a revelation. A revelation. Yeah. He's just been incredible. Since he's gone back to full-back, it's, it's, for me, revolutionised the strike. He's been outstanding as Nile Levels, and we're going to give him his due, and rightly so. Uh, Catalan, uh, Desiree could be back. That'd be big. Desiree, I think they missed Desiree. I think off the bench, Jordan Desiree is a big unit for Catalan and, and does a good job. Mickey McAloran might be back. Another big bonus for him. Abdul's out. Uh, they haven't said how long, but it's going to be a few weeks that at the very, very least. And Tom Johnston may be back if he's passed his AH, HIA protocols. We don't know if he has or not. Like the Bentleys and the Percivals, they might give him an extra week just to make sure there's yeah. no issues there. But Johnston will <coughs> be back as well. Great news for KR. George King will be on the plane. Uh, he's back. I mean, he was not expected back for another three weeks. But he's actually recovered quicker than expected. Whether he gets into the 17s, another question. But George King is on the plane. Gildar may or may not be. Again, HIA protocols. You know, uh, we know Oliver's had a few issues there in his career. So it'll be interesting to see if he's back on his feet. If not, it'll be up a chick again. No issues there. And Sam Luckley is back from his suspension. So good news for KR and good news yeah. for and some you know, important influential players. Coming back for both teams. One's on the crest of a wave. And again, in the same spirit as Huddersfield, they will not want to lose momentum. They will want to go and lay a marker down against Catalan. Of course they will. Uh, they'll want to keep momentum going into the semi against 
against Wigan. Um, as for Catalan, uh, to quote Steve McNamara, it was an embarrassment. It was an embarrassment. He was embarrassed by the performance against Huddersfield. He gave Huddersfield all the credit, but he said it was simply not good enough. He had a lot of questions to ask of his team. So there's no doubt uh, there's been some choice words in <clears throat> opinion this week and they will be coming out absolutely firing there's no doubt about it this is an intriguing game it's one not to be missed on saturday night you know prime time entertainment rugby league style oh yes go on greg over to you sir i think you're right i think matt namara will have fired them up um and, and no disrespect to our huddersfield friends i don't think many people saw no. them turning catalans over and a great performance and <laughs> and and not just not just beating them, but yeah, embarrassing them. Yeah. Uh, and and he's right. And I and I think that uh, Catalan will be eager to bounce back. But I'm going to upset my hook AR friends. Um, I'm going to say they're going to win nine to seventeen. That is, and when and when you sent me your predictions, I looked at that for wow, that's a big and that that's a that's a proper shout from the next. Because I think that, that Catalan will try too hard. And when Catalan try too hard, it falls apart. Well, well, it's a big shout. And KR fans will be delighted. Dawn Kirkby will be overjoyed. Or maybe, well. or maybe not. Well. But no, do you know what? It could, mate, I think for me at the moment... I, just, if, uh, I, 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 said, I said that Warrington will beat Saints. Yeah. And I just get that, that gut feeling that KR will beat Catalan. I think Maybe. Catalan are stinging. And, and as, as Freddie says, as um, Freddie says that Huddersfield have got a great record in, in, in Catalan, in Perpignan. Um, I think KR, they're, 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 they're a, they were good last season. And I think the disappointment of the Challenge Cup final last season has given them a bit of steel. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I, I think that I think, yeah, I just get that feeling. You know, when you get a feeling, I know when you get a feeling, it don't happen that often now. I'm 46, but yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Uh, but yeah, black IP. You know what the black eyed P says, I got a feeling, yeah, tonight's gonna be a great night. It's been a fantastic night again. It's rugby league chatting on Tuesday, you just can't be a bit weekly, can you? This has been great, it's wonderful stuff. Uh, Greg, brilliant, mate. 917 cat. Do you know what, mate? Absolutely, the way KR are playing. I mean, yeah. they are playing some. I mean, Tangy Noah. And they've got oh. the six. They've got the six senior brothers in the back line for them. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, you know what, mate? Yeah, absolutely. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I think KR. I mean, I, remember, I had them seventh. I, I didn't even have them in the top six. Um, you know, I think it's going to be a right contest for those places. And I think it'll go down to the, the absolute wire this season. I do, I do in terms of who's going to be in the playoffs. But I have to say, since the switch, I was I was, I was, was pretty happy. Uh, not happy for KR to be losing. I'm not saying that. But my prediction of seven was looking pretty good when Iku was at fullback. But since they've changed it, I mean, it's a different side. And Tanginoa's return. Telepi Tanginoa, what a signing. And Whitbread, just two brilliant, brilliant signings. Um... Gary Schofield's gone Catalan 9 to 17. Um, Steph, we're coming to you in a minute. Joel, 9 to 17, Catalan. The fans' form have gone 1 to 8, KR. So the fans' form have gone KR as well. I'm going Catalan 9 to 17. I think they'll fire back. I think they need to fire back, quite frankly. Uh, you see there, TGN, our onion wearing friend. He's saying it's a big call, Reggie. He's saying it's a big call. Um, but Pete Mason saying Catalan Dragons all KR, too close to call. Do you know yeah. what? Spot <laughs> And I know the forum will find this difficult to believe, but have been wrong in the past. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Have we all? As, as we have all. <laughs> Some more than others, sir. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, so, Steph, over to... Good evening. Steph, he, he still, he, he still hurts that you've not won a prediction league yet after four... Is it three, three seasons? Come on, mate. You've got it. You've got I, people, it. I, I let people have a chance to you win. Do, you do. You do. Like, you're, you're, you're a sporting man. You're a sporting I'm not about man. the glory. I'm just about the table. You're not, mate. You lose with grace. You do. Uh, right, go on, Steph. Uh, like I say, too close to call. Brilliant looking game. Can't wait for this. I'll be watching on Saturday night. I know you will be. Go on. What are your thoughts? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm I, absolutely. This is the game of the round. I, I can't wait for it. I think it's going to be an absolute belter. Um, and I think the, the difference is going to be the, the, the seven they're bringing in instead of Albu, uh, Abdul. They're bringing in uh, just nick it. They're going to just nick it. <laughs> Oh, God. 
It's, it's, look, look, you know what I mean? Come on. No. It's, it's getting shocked. You want to carry on? Yes. No. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no I think the. They, they, they're going to be stinging from the Huddersfield result, aren't they? And I, I, we, we've all been, you know, all, all been saying how good Catalan have been this year. I think that was the the blip on the copybook this year um, with last week's results. So um, I, I've got it, Catalan 9-17, especially if McLaurin comes back. I think yeah. that'll, that'll be the difference for them. Rugby <laughs> League, I think, will be the ultimate winner. It's an- I, I can see McLaurin getting a red. Well, yeah, maybe, but I think I think what we've seen this year in every round, what we've seen this year in every round is some brilliant rugby league, and this one is going to be a brilliant game. I think there's no doubt whatsoever about that. You saw as part of weekly there, the membership is open. Please join us if you like what you're seeing here, game of the week, and all the other shows we do. We can't do it without your support. Please go over to our Patreon website, and whatever you're watching this on right now, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell all your friends about us. It's really important that you do that. Right? Let's confirm. What was said, these are the panel's predictions for this particular game. Uh, Myself, Joel, Steph uh, are going the way of the Catalan Dragons. All of us, 9-17. to Greg, however, he sees it the other way. He thinks it's the Robins, 9-17. to And the fans for him, they are going the Robins, 1-8. to And it's interesting because this uh, the analysis that you've seen as part of this show, I hadn't done that before weekly. And you know what? They've all been talking during this show. The more I'm thinking that 9-17 to by Catalan might not be the right call. But we will wait and see. But there's one player. One player for me that we haven't really spoken a lot about in Game of the Week, and I think he could be the game-breaker on the night. He has been absolutely different class since going to fullback for Hull KR. You know who we're talking about. What a season nine levels has had thus far. And for me, this could be the player. This could be the player on the night that we're all purring over. He is in incredible, incredible form. Six appearances in Super League, three tries, six assists. Yes, he's got feet of flames. He's got hands as delicate as your best masseuse. Don't worry about that. 16 tackle balls, seven clean breaks, five offloads, 91 times. He's had his hand on the ball for 726 metres. Do the maths. That's over 100 metres per game. Niall is in outstanding form. I mean, there's so many great players in there. All over this pitch in Perpignan on Saturday night. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be unbelievable. Rugby League will be the winner, we are sure. Let's take a look at what the bookies are saying then. <laughs> Again, incredible, isn't it? One to two on the home side. 17 to 10, the Robins for this. Look at the value in the first try score. Joe Burgess off the back of those beautiful tries against Lee in the Challenge Cup. Nine to one of a first try score. A bit of value there. Tom Johnston, if he's back, 11 to two. A 13-point winning margin or better. 19 to 10 for the Dragons, 17 to 2 uh, Hull KR. And if you like a bit of any time try scorer, well, we've already featured Ben Garcia, 9 to 2 for him any time. Matt Parcel, 9 to 2, despite his hat trick the last time out against the London Broncos. Where's your money on? Oh, it's going to be a belter. And of course, before the, the main course itself, you've got Warrington uh, against Lee at the Halliwell Jones Stadium just before it on Sky Sports. It's going to be a brilliant Saturday of entertainment. Make sure you tune in tomorrow uh, because, of course, we will have the In the Sheds from the Friday night fixtures for you. Of course, the Final Whistle podcast will return for you on Monday as well. Loads of great content coming from Super League Raw over the weekend. Get to the game. Enjoy your rugby league. 
just get your beers out. You're not you're not going to be in Perpignan unless you're a KR fan. Get your beers, get them nicely chilled next to your sofa. Watch what will be a brilliant example of rugby league. We think it's going to be a belter. We we hope it doesn't disappoint. I don't think it will disappoint. Oh yes, Super League round number eight. Bring it on, ladies and gentlemen. Keep your eyes out, Super League Raw, throughout the weekend, and I will see you very, very soon for In the Sheds tomorrow. Bye for now.